everyone. So firstly, I'd like to say thank you so much for all your lovely comments on our last holiday vlog. I know it was just camping for one night and I was a little bit worried that the video was a bit too small, but I couldn't not film because it was our first night and we were just testing things out and also, one thing that we did while we were away was create a big shopping list on Amazon and that is what this video is all about. And we bought a few bits that we thought we needed in terms of storage and just user-friendly things. So yeah, I'm just going to get started and absolutely everything was just on Amazon delivery. It was just easier to do that. So let's get started. So one of the things that I really wanted as soon as I saw it because I thought it'd be really handy was a collapsible bucket. So this one is a Beldre one, 10 litre. It couldn't have cost that much because we wouldn't have bought it. I think it was like 10 or 12 pounds. And I know Argos was much dearer. And I just love this idea for cleaning or even possibly doing some hand washing if, if we're ever really stuck. But we say that, we never do it. We just find a laundrette. But I love this idea completely. And it just, opens out, I haven't used this yet, but I've seen a trick to actually fold it back up. And I know you can get washing up bowls like this as well. And apparently, so while it's like that, you fold it from the top part to uh, to collapse it again. Watch me not be able to do it now. Ah, oh, that's better. Because when I first tried my in-laws to um, actually put it down, I didn't do it this quick, that's for sure. I didn't do it at all, I had to, somebody had to show me. So that's it. I thought that was pretty cool. So perfect for someone like us when you just don't have much space. And uh, well, you need as much space as you can get. The other thing that we got was a Bluetooth speaker. Now what we do as entertainment on an evening, we'll probably just download something on the iPlayer on our tabby or tablet, uh, we call it tabby and we like to just have better sound it's just much easier particularly say if you're on a campsite it's quite noisy or you're wild camping and you can hear noises this is great but we also have this at the side of our bed during um at home so so far that is really cool it's by anchor i think it was about 30 pounds but we had a much bigger one than this and it got battered to death and then we had a really small one that we traveled with as in we just go on hikes and listen to podcasts and that broke. I don't think this is really one for walking with so we might find one at a later date. But so far, so I should keep it still so you can see, but so far it's not that big. In fact, if you want to compare it next to my flask, that's the size of it. So uh, yeah, we, it's something that we felt we needed anyway. Then I'm gonna move on to cutlery and we bought this pouch set. Um, it's by Red Cliffs. And I think it was either a tenner or twelve pounds and I really like this compartment pouch and basically it's just got um, little dividers there, little pouches for all your cutlery to go in. So we've had a few different cutlery sets and they just get merged with the things in our own kitchen and we just keep it in a Tupperware box and the lid kept coming off and it would just go everywhere, it would just drive you crazy and I didn't really want to have to buy a new set because all I was really interested in was the pouch. But then I thought, to make a pouch, I just couldn't be bothered, it's just probably not worth the time. And to buy a pouch separately is quite expensive, so it just made more sense just buying this set. So hopefully we'll look after it and we won't lose them, but if we lose some, I suppose it's not the end of the world. Oh, and they are um, black handled as well. So I thought that was okay. Then something that we thought was very important was to shrink our electric cable size down because originally we had a 25 meter one and it was much thicker than this I think and obviously much heavier because this is a 10 meter one. The other one was 25 meters, this is 10. So storing it was a pain in the bum because we had this big plastic wheel thing that broke. Then we decided to cut a piece of wood out with little ends cut out for the 25 meter one. Again, it was too bulky. And so we've bought this with the um, the holder as well. And this, you probably can't tell compared to the other one, but it's much smaller. So this is just gonna be easy just to tuck away. For the times when we do go on campsites, which isn't very often actually, because we'll go camping in Scotland and places like that where you can wild camp. Then we bought these LED battery powered lights. Now, there's adhesive on the back. I have seen quite a few YouTubers use these. It's comfort knowing that it's just batteries as well. 
Um, I'm not really that bothered about this to be honest but my fiance really wanted them and they do look cool but I can't be bothered to put it up. I don't know where the best place is going to be to put them up, probably at the top above the wardrobe or maybe even at the bottom um, where the kitchen is. We'll, we'll see. Then a bit of a food blogging treat for those who don't know, I'm actually a food blogger at Taste Food Vicky and I really wanted some decent um, plates and cups but they're so expensive these. Um, I really wanted falcon ones, just classic camping ones in white. I've seen a lot of other food bloggers as well with these, with a the blue rim. And uh, falcon ones, I, I do have a lot of falcon pieces anyway in my kitchen for steam puddings and roasting trays and stuff like that. But these cost seven pound odd each. And the other thing is, I really thought they'd be better quality, but ones actually arrived chipped. So I can't really recommend that at the minute. I don't know if it's just not been sealed properly in a kiln or however it is do done for enamel. And then little smallish plates. Because the blue ones that we had, food does not look great. If you're a food photographer, you'll probably know um, you want your food to stand out. So I wanted white for that very reason. So I could kill two birds with one stone, do some recipes for the food channel and just do vlogs or, or DIY things for here. But yeah, that was very pricey. I don't often buy brand new things for food blogging. It's usually on a budget and I buy cool vintage pieces at jumble sales and things. But that was, um, yeah, I got stung there, I think. And then we've bought a big water container that we wanted as our main water container. But annoyingly, as soon as it arrived, we found out that the pump wouldn't fit through the spout. So we're having to use that as grey water, um, which is really annoying because there's a spout on there, a little tap, but it's not worked out. So that is just for grey water. And I would just recommend, if you are gonna get yourself a bottle, just go out and just test it first. And then finally, something that was really important is how to store clothes. Now, last week, I've actually installed some shelves inside our wardrobe and my fiance installed a shelf in the kitchen um, cabinet area. But instead of just throwing our clothes in the wardrobe shelves totally unorganized or even in little bags, um, it was easier, we thought, getting pouches and they're like little compartments. So these are what we've bought and these are about 18 pounds. Now, this is just my fiance's. He's just ordered some for me that are coming today actually in like a raspberry pink. And I thought these were gonna be really crappy quality because sometimes I found things in Poundland that are actually on Amazon for a lot more and it's just crazy. But this is really thick. You can probably see that. So that is probably gonna be my toiletry bag or that one. But we can just compartmentalize our things like underwear and um, tops, trousers and stuff like that and just store them easily. What I might do is just create little labels for mine, but I want a little label to say pants, socks or, or whatever. And that's your biggest one, it's quite heavy that actually, God knows what he's put in there, but um, you've got zips all along the side and you've got a handle as well. So I'll just show you that up close. I think that's pretty damn cool for 18 pounds because I can imagine a lot of companies just wanting to charge you 18 pounds for one. So. Those were from Homdocs? I don't know if I've said that right. So hopefully I've covered everything there, but if there's anything that you think would be very useful for us, then please let me know below. If you've got any other questions about them, then fine, ask me as well. And I'll leave all the links to these products below. Um, I can't remember what the prices were, but if any of them are useful, then you know where to get them. So hopefully I'll see you soon with maybe a holiday vlog or some DIY things. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna see more, and hopefully I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, bye.